How's it going, friends? How are you all? Welcome, everyone, because you've clicked at the right time and at the perfect moment to enjoy this new video. Thank you for being here. All right, guys, today we're going to do a jailbreak on this device. Yes, this device is already on its latest software version. It's already updated. It already has iOS 16.7.10, its latest software version. And let me tell you that this jailbreak works for iOS 15, iOS 16, iOS 17, and even iOS 18, up to iOS 18.3. It's definitely possible to do it. The jailbreak on that version of iOS. And for that, we're going to need four things. First, having a good internet connection, right? On the computer and on the phone, second, or rather on the computer and on the iPhone, right? Yes, another thing we need is a USB drive, at least two gigabit and a good quality USB cable to be able to do this. Another thing we're going to need is once the USB is ready, we will need our Windows computer. Let's restart it and boot from the USB, right? Yes, to perform the jailbreak, we need to boot from the USB. And for that, you need to know which key on your Windows computer takes you to the boot menu, right? So if you don't know which key is the boot key for your Windows computer, you're going to need to search on Google for the brand and model of your computer to find out which one it is, or to look up which key is the boot key to do it, in my case, this brand tells me to do it from F12. From there, it bounces the USB using the F12 key, 12. Then you will need to know those details. Another important thing is that some windows have it activated by default. If you have the security bot, secure boot, activate it then you will need to enter the BIOS and deactivate the security boot or the secure boot to be able to boot from the USB, right? So you can find all that out with the brand and model of your Windows computer to successfully perform the jailbreak. Now that we've explained that, we're going to need another thing is the tool. I'll leave the tool in a link down below in the video so you can download it. Then we're going to unzip the tool. In the video, I will leave the link so you can download it. We're simply going to unzip the tool. Yes, perfect, it's done. Let's open the folder where it is located. And here is Rufus. So we are going to execute what is Rufus. As an administrator, Ready. Perfect. Now we need to select the image as you can see. When you insert the USB, it will detect the USB. You just plugged in and tell you its capacity in gigabytes. Once you've inserted it, it will show up here and we're going to select it because we're going to look for where the image is that we downloaded. In this case, I have it in the downloads folder, the folder I unzipped for the jailbreak. And here is the image or the ISO of the jailbreak. And once all this is ready, we are going to press the start key. We are going to say, OK. And it is time to wait for the process in which then it starts preparing the USB. If you want to be part of this lovely community, down below in the video description, there's a list of WhatsApp and Telegram groups so you can join us, right? You can also leave your questions, inquiries, and comments down below in the video, right? For any questions or queries you may have regarding to this jailbreak topic. As I just explained to you at the beginning of the video, it's for iOS 15, iOS 16, iOS 17, and iOS 18. 
it also works up to that version of iOS. Uh, okay, so let's wait. In the meantime, we can patiently observe what happens next. Just a moment, let me get it ready. And that's it. Since our USB prepares it, with the image, you are able to get jailbreak now. It's time to rerun Windows. I don't need to explain what we're going to do here because I already explained it at the beginning of the video, right? So let's go ahead and restart. Now I'm going to get ready with the F12 boot key on my Windows and my computer. In order to carry out this process, this procedure, we're going to wait for Windows to show up, or rather for the menu to show up so that Windows can boot, and then press the F key. Do I... Let's wait, let's wait, all right? The screen went black. Let's wait for it to boot up again. All right, it's booting up now. So now I press the F12 key from my Windows. I've already opened the boot menu because the USB shows up here, so I'm going to select it. Perfect. The jailbreak image from Palo Wing is now showing up, so you can perform the jailbreak. Now all the commands will start loading. On your window, or rather on your computer screen, this is totally normal. Perfect. Now what I need to do is connect my iPhone to the USB. I'm going to unlock it and connect the USB. Excuse me guys, but I'm doing everything myself. With one hand. Perfect. I'm going to tap trust on my iPhone here and here. It's necessary for us to connect and reconnect our device with the USB cable, and this will put our device into recovery mode. Yes. All right. Now it says here that I need to be ready. Uh, so in this case, when I hit enter, I need to have the power and volume down buttons ready. And here it's going to give me a countdown. How long do I need to hold down the buttons for me to do the jailbreak? Here it's going to give me a time with both buttons. Can I do what is jailbreak? Here it's going to give me a time with both buttons. Then it will ask me to release the power button to keep the volume down button pressed here. The countdown is going to tell me how long I need to hold it down. And then I have to release all the buttons for the jailbreak to be successful. Right? Uh, so I'm going to get ready. I'm going to press the enter button. It says here to start the countdown. I took a little longer. I'm sorry, but I need to extend this right away. Yes, sorry, I made a mistake with this, no. But these are unusual situations, you know. They can happen, you know, just like it happened to me. My device has entered back into mode A recovery. Yes. Let's wait. There it is. You know, when you hit enter, you need to press the power and volume down buttons immediately. All right. This key combination varies depending on the device model you have. It can't be that if you're on an iPhone or have iOS 15, you just press the button of the lock and you have to press the home button, right? in those models, but for iPhone 7 and later, it's with power and volume down. All right, now I'm going to hit enter and I have to press the keys I mentioned earlier. Quick, uh, enter ready, I have the buttons pressed. Uh, I failed again. Oh my God, I'm a bit rusty. Excuse me. 
excuse me, excuse me, it's been a while since I've done this. Jailbreak. My device is going to enter recovery mode again. This is necessary, guys. This is necessary. All right, let's go again. All right, here comes the countdown. I release the power button. I hold down the volume down. All right, I release the button. And now it's starting. The jailbreak procedure. Break the device. Yes, in case it gets stuck here. During the procedure, what you need to do is connect the disconnect, sorry, and reconnect again. The device to complete the jailbreak procedure. You can't see that it already says Palo Ring to me. That it says Palo Ring. Let's wait and see what happens. Let's see what happened. Here is the Palo Ray icon. There's the Palo Ray icon. I'm going to open it. Perfect. Here is Asilio. I'm going to install it. Let's install Silvio. Here we can set a generic password. Don't worry. This is just a custom password. Ready, the assistance is here. Let's open the assistance here. We're going to say allow. We're going to say accept. And done. It's done. There are some packages that need to be updated. Let's update everything. Let's see. All right. It's done. It's done. That's right. The jailbreak sin is now installed. And to exit this window, it's really easy. Guys, you just have to turn off your computer and then you'll exit from here. You can now remove the USB. And you can. Disconnect the USB cable and the jailbreak is now installed. As for your disk, I'm saying no, so you can see there's no trick. We're going to show you here, it's the same device, and there it is at version 16.710. Well, guys, that's, that's all for today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the bell so that YouTube notifies you with each new video. And we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.